Ooh, what is up, you guys, and welcome, of course, to what could possibly be the last Wi Fi league I do before Generation 8. Now, before going in itself, I do want to kind of force that I really want to thank my followers to actually uh, recommend me to uh, assign for this league. Um, it's hosted by Kale, which is a phenomenal Pocketuber that I actually didn't know anything about. And I was very happy to be drafted here as, um, well, there are really a lot of good people. We have, of course, Sin, who are from the UBL D League, where they're a lot of fun together. And uh, another person that, of course, I think most of you guys know are Jolt from the Token Minority. It's really cool to see him here. Didn't expect it. Absolutely didn't expect it. He had a bit of a hiatus. And really, really just cool to see that he made it here. Um, this is a very competitive league, and uh, I looked up, uh, at a few of these people as, well, I don't know them personally. I know they have a league record and, you know, watching their channels. Yes, yes, they are good. And uh, we, we have a lot to adjust for. So I really hope that while we possibly aren't, you know, winning it, at least we can be a part of it, which is somewhere down the line where I really want to just showcase fun battles. Um, now, for the league itself, I actually got a um, second pick in you know, Snake Drive, of course. As you guys see on the screen, the first Pokemon I picked was Tapu Koko. Uh, I want to encourage that before even talking about the draft itself, I got sniped a few times, and while I had a vision, I never really got to it, but at least I got what could potentially be the best Pokemon in the league format, which I actively was, <laughs> how to say, <laughs> I was feeling kind of nasty picking it since I've used it so many times and uh, well, I'm going tired. I, I'm growing tired of this Pokemon and I really really feel that um, I, I still feel it's It's kind of there like one of those Pokemon that I might be not when I use them uh, But that cook is still here and yeah, one of the best later types great pilot Pokemon if not the best mm. Mm. Sorry about that and um, yeah, just a combination of Electric Fairy, while not the strongest, it's still a very good combination as, um, well, we have a, a lot of resistances and of course Electric do kind of um, uh, alleviate the weakness of fairies against Steel types, which is a really good thing, but we do have a lot of things to watch out for anyway. Uh, the merits of Tapu Koko is quite a few, but it's guys in a row, of course, a lot of resistances, weakness to only two things, in Ground and Poison. And it has roots. It's an absolute beast. Well, it isn't necessarily the bulkiest Pokemon, it is a set of sweeper, and it does that quite right. Um, my second pickup here was Haolucha. You'd be surprised to know I never used the Haolucha Coco combo in a league format because I never got the chance to. Uh, I, I, I couldn't say how many leagues I've been in where um, I had the option to potentially get it, but didn't. And this time I really felt just, I want to use this combination. I know it's a good combination. I don't know if I'm good with it, but um, the Coco Lucha combo is a really real thing. And yeah. of course, how Lucha itself really isn't the base, best type combination, but it has a lot to offer, a lot of weaknesses. A few of these are actually, if not all, alleviated by a proper steel type. So it's fine in its essence, but Haolucha is only here for Kogo. I don't believe you use Haolucha if you don't have any terrain setter. So it makes sense to pick that, if anything. Uh, we're gonna follow that up with Garchomp. Now, it is a bit unfocused here, and for that I'm sorry. Uh, but I was going back and forth whether or not I want Latios or Garchomp. Is there a Garchomp because um, I haven't used it actually in Generation... Or actually I used it once in Generation 7, but that's about it. And it was in a, my own Bella Pokemon League where I was close to getting a title actually, if I remember correctly. Uh, Garchomp was a massive asset for that. But overall I had a great time with Garchomp. I used my Garchomp League format more. And uh, I was just really happy to see it. Um, it did survive for turn 3, which is incredible. Um, the combination, or you know, the typing itself, is both good and bad defensively. It has issues, so Ice being one of them, of course Dragon Fairy Salt is going to be there. Uh, but it does alleviate some issues with both rocks, 
it has immunity with fire and poison and um, another thing is really good at is that it's both a really good wall breaker it can be a setup sweeper but wall breaking is what it does best uh, it can be a decent scarfer and uh, yeah, staff rock. Uh, it can play a defensive role with force too its defensive isn't the highest but a really high hp stat do allow to have some bulk it lacks recovery but it still works um, my fourth pick was something I was kind of going back and forth about, and that was Scissor. Um, thing is, I've used Scissor so many times, it's not even funny. But in contrast to how Lucha and uh, Tapu Koko, I believe Scissor makes sense. Um, I want a Metagross uh, first and foremost, but that got drafted like round two um, by the Tasmanian Toxicrox, and that was unexpected but nevertheless it's a really good pickup scissors absolutely out, out there as one of the better um steel type mainly because of a really good defensive stat but it is semi chunky and we believe 100 in its defense I believe i can see it here 100 in defense uh, 80 in special defense and 17 in hp uh, really high attack stack 130 that's that's gonna sting it's not like it's mega form but it still is enough so when it comes to immunity, um, I mean, it is a steel type. So with, and with Buggy, there are a lot of things that are going right. Um, Buggy and Steel is one of those combinations that are, uh, I would say, close to perfect. Um, Buggy really, really do alleviate both ground and um, um, fight, or fight, dear lord, <laughs> fight, fighting damage and uh, ground damage with super effective against steel. It does have a human resistance to make them not effective. Though they are neutral, so it's unfortunate, but it's still a good combination. Uh, they do share one issue, and that's fire. But I do prefer regular scissor over mega scissor because I can catalyze a vodka berry, and I can actually decisively make um, the scissor that I want potentially more special defensive for a better defunger option than I believe mega scissor is, which I use in UBL, which is. It works, but you don't want Mega Scissor to be forced into that role. Uh, for my fifth pickup, I was going back and forth. Um, what I was considering, and I think this is a very fair consideration, is um, with getting a steel type to the R or a bug type to R resisting round, I do need a soul grass type. So, no, I don't know, even if I want grass poison, I was already being real tired um, trying to. Uh, first at work, I should say, and my little little daughter refusing to sleep. I'm like, beat to hell. I should have uploaded this yesterday. I really feel, ugh, kill me. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, basically, my initial thought for Serena was that I needed a soul grass type, but also needed a spinner. And the spinner represents just the best of that. This is a mammoth one, is an issue. Serena can be a proper response to that, with, of course, the Queen Majesty. Um, ability and yeah, overall, it's a decent Pokemon. Um, I really haven't used it a league format myself, but I've seen people use it well, and I kind of want to check that out myself. Um, it clearly has one issue, and that it's at a low special attack and uh, can't be used. But one of the twin attacks should be plenty with Power Whip and High Jump Kick. There are So many things this Pokemon does right that uh, I'm not worried. I think it's going to work quite well. Um, six Pokemon here is a bit of a niche pick. Uh, Miltank is a Pokemon that um, I actively think are a lot better in the league format. Uh, the reason I decided to pick this up was because I picked up Seismito, which I decided to drop, actually. But uh, yeah, Miltank here has Sap Zipper, which would have been great to page for that. We also have Scrappy and we have Thick Bad. Um, three or at least two really good defensive abilities that uh, do kind of um, make it harder for some type matchup to of course be successful. Um, basically an issue that every team will always have no matter how you draft is to go into weak to ice. Uh, a water type can alleviate some problem and of course a steel type can do that but having a normal type with proper recovery with Thick Bad like Snorlax or Miltank is it's not ideal, but it's a very fair option. And considering Miltank has recovery, it has heal bell, and has stealth rocks, the only thing going against it is that it's so passive. Um, it actually has a fair attack of 80 and the special attacks that are usable. But overall, 
its best part is its bulk, but if it's Forza attack, it co can go outside of the seismic toss combination, even though it basically is what Chansey does. Uh, it's actually pretty darn close to what Chansey does, not thinking about it, with Seismic Dog find a way toxic and, of course, heal well and will drink, but I guess softball is close to that. But overall, uh, Miltek is a very good lower peer tick, peer tier pick, and uh, I don't think it gets fair use out of this Pokemon. Um, of course, normal typing, while never required, is still a type combination I believe is really good to have because you do effectively make sure that ghost spamming isn't a thing. Because believe ghost and ice spamming is something that all teams in the end of the day will struggle with. So talking about, of course, ghost spamming, Yuxi. Now, I want a Mesprit. I always want Mesprit. I prefer Mesprit. I think Mesprit is superb and superior to Yuxi. So we have Yuxi. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, though, it's not like Yuxi is a bad Pokemon. Uh, more focused on the defensive side and um, actually speedier than Mesprit. Uh, all the thing holding its back is its subpar special attack and attack set. Uh, the thing going for it is that it has Memento, it has Trick Room, it has Uter. Uh, it has called Mine, like it has a really niche move pool, so I'm not worried. It has a high viability in the Spoken Tears for a reason. Uh, it's just that I myself prefer Mess Bridges for Healing Wish and just how close Mess Bridge is actually to be reconsidered how the Gardevoir is. And uh, I didn't want Gardevoir, I want a fatter, pirate heavy. Uh, Pokemon like Yuxi, and of course Stealth Frog is a thing. Um, but Yuxi is absolutely in limelight when it comes to which Pokemon that could potentially be dropped. Um, if Yuxi is dropped, it's going to be dropped from Guard War. Um, and it's going to be only for because of the healing wishing. That's, that's a must. Um, and so for my let's see, 11, 10, 8, 7th pick, I have Nihilego. Never used Nihilego. I used it once on Showdown when Pokemon was released, um, or you know, Pokemon Sun and Moon was released. Never since. Um, always seen people use it. Think it really looks good, as it's a very, 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 very heavily special defensive Pokemon with a lot of HP without recovery. Um, I need a rock type or I need a poison type, and I couldn't figure that out unless, you know, getting a really bad type combination. Nihilego, actually, while the type combination in all essence are somewhat bad, uh, it still is superb when it comes to what I wanted to do, which is Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rocks. It does both, and I can optimize for that. And not only that, we have a really good combination of resistances, and being just that this is one of those ones that I actually do resist very head-ons as are usually are special offensive it's great it forces switches and um, it actually do, it does learn thunderbolt and thunder which could work really really great with type of coco if i'm forced to uh, but it's overall it's a very very good pokemon and i'm looking forward to try this out um i don't know which sets i'm gonna use you'll we'll see about the matchup itself but it's a good mod it's i love it it'll be just fine and here comes my Mega Pokemon. I mean, picked up Mega Houndoom for this league. Um, I'll be honest, not that hyped about it, but basically I couldn't get my timing combinations to work going down the line. I have still a few more options, and while I am still considering actually getting Darmanitan and grabbing something else for my Mega, which could be very likely to go down the road, um, it's not a bad Pokemon. Mega Houndoom is, well, UU for a reason. It's really, really, really chunky and it has a lot of attack and a really, really high special attack set and a speed tier that is quite tough to match. Now, the Ladder Twins didn't get drafted, which in their own rights is unfortunate, but this is a Pokemon that absolutely win versus them. Um, if I would say flaw, um, the, the typing itself isn't that good defensively. And um, as guys can see, weakness to finding ground, dark, uh, or ground, rock, and water. Yeah, quite common. At least ground, rock, and water are absolutely there. And of course, the move pool is shaky when it comes to against bulky water types, so it can't necessarily do against too much above them. Um, its merits, though, is that 
<laughs> this is not good. Ugh, I'm gonna go to rickle sleep after I recoil this. Uh, but yeah, its main merits and its positive part is immunity to psychic, which is always a good thing, as it is a dark type. But it has both sucker punch and has pursuit, and has a really high special attack set, and it has an acid plot. There are a lot of things going into just right stuff here. And um, if I'm gonna say one positive part about dark and fire is that um, you lose your fairy resistance as it gets neutral damage onto you, uh, but also means that our a matchup it can potentially win because it does learn sludge bomb too. So yeah, it's not bad. It's not the worst in the world. Uh, there were plenty of other megas I did choose between, like I said, uh, or didn't say. I uh, was to actually decide to pick up a mega like a salmon. It may or may not have been picked up. We'll see. And also, Mega Glalie was an option, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. And for what well, was my last pick, um, I, I decided to pick up an Ice Type, and I decided to pick up Articuno. As in Frozen, I'm just so, 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 you know, whether or not this is gonna be the best pickup ever. Articuno has its really, really good. Well, I should say main issues. Uh, one of them being really, really weak rocks. Um, flying do alleviate a lot of issues um, that um, Ice Type does have. One thing actually does take away your fighting weakness. But even though we have immunity in ground and resistance to bug and grass, we are weak to electric, fire, steel, and rock. So mm, there, it's still not enough. And being weak to four times weak to rock, it means the stealth rocks is potentially killing this Pokemon by switching. Um, the only merit, like I said, Art's going to potentially have is that due to freeze dry, uh, it doesn't lose against water, bulky water. Uh, it has a way of setting up its agility. We have work up. Uh, we have potential defog and roll and stuff like that. And um, it just unleashed Pokemon overall. It actually has curse, which is something I might, may or may not consider using because it's just a nice shot. It's weird, but it can't work. Um, we'll see. Uh, but it's, well, I've, I'm gonna try Articuno. Um, it's a Pokemon that absolutely get the boot if I think I get zero use out of it. <laughs> if the matchup will never allow it to work, then it's, it makes no sense for me to keep it. But it was a Pokemon that made sense at the time. Pokemon that were considered besides this was Pillowswine, Sneasel, and... Um, I was gonna say Krogan, but it was in the wrong tier. Um, Avalog. Uh, reason for not being an Avalog, which potentially was my better pick, was that I just didn't think I needed another defensive passive Pokemon that potentially are set up fodder. Um, it just it just won't work. Um, it's definitely like it has a very weird niche where people say it's very useful in OU because of ladders uh, and Tangra to an extent. And while I would agree, I don't think it beats Bulu too, and I think about it. Um, and like I said, while I do agree, um, I still believe there are cherry picked matchup it does well work well against and just happen to be top tier picks. Um, I think all Pokemon has that kind of matchup, uh, but it does shine more when it is, you know, the, the best of the best. But Ava, like overall, like loses power and stuff like that, so it, mm, it, it's not there. <laughs> so, the last Pokemon I picked up was Jellicent. I think I've already used this Pokemon quite a while now, and uh, well, I think Jellicent is a superb Pokemon. It was, in essence, not the best since I actually we decided to drop Seismitoad, which is all things considered. Um, the better Pokemon between the two. The thing is, though, and I really want to force this, I like two things in my team. Um, I already had a ground type, and, didn't, and of course, a water type was a combination there. Size so I had to figure it out, but didn't have a ghost type. I was trying to get Frostlands in the team, and it didn't work, it didn't make sense. Um, so, Jellicent was the easiest combination to kind of get in there, and also needed a proper taunter. And Jellicent is a, you know, a stall breaker, and it will be really, really decent at that. So we decided to go that route, and uh, like I said, well, it's a shaky one, and I don't believe uh, it is the best course of action. It still is something I think the team overall needed, uh, and it was a tough call to make. Uh, I have three more changes I can do, and my system may very well make it back. Uh, but overall, um, there are a lot of things right with this team. 
Um, first and foremost, I should kind of um, should do something like this. Um, so you guys can see the team at hand. Should probably have considered this um, before going in, but you know, here we are. Um, <clears throat> bit slow because of the recorder. That's that's unfortunate. Come on, boy. I was gonna try it at least. So I think I was gonna showcase my complete team. You know, its merits and its potential issues. Um, I'll say it has a one issue and that is that uh, the speed tiers aren't that well synced between one another or a lot of speed difference especially don't are potentially that very slow looking at the team itself um just see so it looks right here uh, as you can see my mouse um damn that's a very poor quality sorry about that um Looking at the team at least, my slowest speed tier are 65, represented both Jellicent and uh, Scissor. And you know, that's that's fair. But everything else are quite fast. Serena follows that up with 72. And then I believe the slowest Pokemon after that is 90, no, 85, Articuno, and 95 on Yuxi. Um, and yeah, like this is a very fast team. And defogs are plenty, or has removals. Well, Coco, Haolucha, Sarina. Um, plenty, you know, yeah. Um, Articuno and Scissors, a lot of uh, five Pokemon I can take up assets, and we have uh, one, two, three, four stealth rockers, so that's yeah, fair. Um, and I actually aren't that weak to rocks either, as I do believe I have two Pokemon sweet rocks the Houndoom and Articuno. Uh, Articuno, like I said before, very niche pick, and we'll see if that sticks or not. Uh, I guess one of the Issues I have potentially is that I don't have many Pokemon that resist rocks either. Uh, being Guard Chomp alone, actually, I think. Uh, which will mean that um, Stealth Rocks has got neutral high damage like Spikes, so that's gonna be gonna be JK best. Uh, but besides that, that I, I like this team, and uh, well, I have a few ideas and constructions I want to do. Um, it may or may not actually happen. It all depends on our matchup. When, of course, moving in, and we're actually going against Aaron or Waifu Lover, who has a Blasiphlon and Swarloon, and, and that's going to be a spicy battle. Um, that's really all I can say. Um, so with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I see already dark. It took me what is that twenty minutes, and we already, yeah, Sweden. In the summer, a lot of sun. It actually has. Um, it's been really, really hot. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I um, figure our first battle upload is going to come up on Sunday. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. So with that said, guys, thank you for watching. And have a great day. Take care. Bye.